Well, continuing on this Newton Raphson scheme, the question that we know is the following. If I want to solve, so let us quickly recap f of x equal to 0 is what I want to do. What I do is I do xn plus 1 equal to xn minus f of xn divided by df dx at x equal to xn. And then what we do is we take xn plus 1 and substitute and then you will get the next level xn plus 2 and xn plus 3 and so on. Do this until xn plus 1 stops changing. Then f of x equal to 0. So how does it work? The idea is the following. Is we look at the following differential equation df of x of t dt equal to f of x of t. Pretend that x is a function of time and you are doing this differential equation, sorry, equal to minus f. Okay, so df dx d, df dt equal to minus f. That is, let me write it in brief words df dt equal to minus f. So we pick a value of x, let us say x equal to x naught, so f equal to f of x naught which is f naught. Okay? If f naught is greater than 0, then what will happen? df dt will be negative, will be less than 0 and so f will decrease. If f naught is greater than less than 0, df dt will be greater than 0 and f will increase. So you can see that if I if I am able to solve this differential equation, uh, which is an easy one to write, but the point is this particular differential equation has this nice attribute that if f decreases, if f is negative, df dx will increase, df dt will increase. If f is positive, df dt will decrease until f is driven to, if f equal to 0, no change. So what it does is it will drive f towards 0. That is what we want, right? The idea is use forward Euler What do I mean? I am going to write df dt equal to df dx dx dt right? equals f minus f of x. So immediately I am going to get dx dt equal to minus f divided by df dx. So now I am going to use forward Euler. This is a different, nice differential equation. Use forward Euler. and get xn plus 1 minus xn equals minus delta t f of f over b of dx at x equal to xn. So that means xn plus 1 equals xn minus delta t f divided by d of dx at x equal to xn. If you put delta t equal to 1, then we get xn plus 1 equal to xn minus f over d of dx. This is exactly this one. So the idea is we are actually solving this differential equation using forward Euler. Of course, you know that forward Euler has problems with convergence unless delta t is very small. So if you take dt is very, very small, then things will work. Putting delta t equal to 1 is always a dangerous thing. But generally speaking, that is not a bad value for this. But if you put delta t less than 1, you will always have, you will, it will be better, you know, but it will be slower. Okay, so that is how this thing works. This is why it works and the idea is solving this differential equation is nice because the same as solving this differential equation and this differential equation will guarantee that f will f will be head towards 0. So that is great. You are thinking, okay, I got a guarantee. What is the problem? 
the differential equation will guarantee but euler forward euler will not okay so that's always an issue and that's something that uh, we have to live with okay so at the core of this is a fairly simple forward euler scheme that's how newton raphson works okay in terms of error how good is it well if x not is the correct answer and xn is my current guess and it is close to x not then by taylor series we have f of xn approximately equal to f of x not plus partial f with respect to xn partial f with respect to x x equal to x not delta x which is x xn minus x not plus higher order terms and the nice thing is the following this is exactly what we are going to cancel the next step will cancel out this term at least as good as possible and so the error is of order d squared f dx squared it's a second order scheme means the first order is gone so it will it is actually quadratically convergent that's how it is called it's quadratically convergent and things will go pretty fast okay so that's how this thing works